Eyes Are Val Crafting. I'm Christy. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you all are having a good day today. What I have today is some diamond painting, which I have not done a diamond painting video in a while. And this is from Diamond Art Gift. They reached out to me and asked me if I would review a couple of their products. So that's what I have to show you today. I do love diamond painting. And, but for some reason lately, my big focus and what I've been working on a lot it has been the cross stitch. Um, I started off diamond painting a couple years ago and I really, really, really need to get back into it. I've got a ton of them too. So I do love diamond painting. It's a great craft. It's an easy craft to do. It's great for all ages, absolutely all ages. And that's why I want to share these with you today. So let's get started on it. I'm going to open them up and we'll see how these work. I've got a round and I've got a square drill diamond paint. Okay, let me take these out. Okay. But before we start, I'd like to give a huge hello to all my subscribers and my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. It means the world to me. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. And please comment below or send me an email with any ideas or suggestions that you might have. I love to hear from you all. So these diamond paintings are two different sizes. I'm going to start with a small one first. I saw this picture and I really, really liked it. I just love color. And that's what you're going to see in both of these diamond paintings. I really like color a lot. And when you are doing a diamond painting and you've got a lot of color in it, you just watch it come alive and it's just it's just so exciting to do. But for some reason, this one does not want to come out easy. I don't like those little bags. All right. Let me get that out and roll this backwards so it lays a little bit flatter. You can do this with a poured glue canvas, which is what these are, but don't do it with a double-sided tape canvas because it will ruin it. And I learned that the hard way when I got a custom picture of my husband and I was just starting out doing diamond painting and I totally ruined it. So this is called, um, let's see, the Snowflake. And I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. It's 22 colors. When I get a smaller size diamond painting, I don't go for a lot of detail because if you have a lot of detail in your diamond painting, just like with a cross stitch, you lose detail when you go small. The bigger the better um, when it comes to something like detail. So this is so cute. It's actually really, really pretty. It has, like I said, 22 colors. You've got diagrams and instructions at the bottom that tell you how to diamond paint. It's so easy to do. Some people have great patience for this. I find diamond painting extremely relaxing. Um, the time flies by. It's a nice distraction from the worries of the world where my husband just, I've even got guy ones for him and he won't, he won't even do it. He just says he doesn't have the patience for it. I wish he'd give it a try though. So let me pull this back a little bit. I don't like all this glare. Very sticky canvas. Maybe this will help it lay a little flatter too. On the stiff canvas ones, I mean, this is stiff, but I mean, I've felt stiffer. Just if, when they're poured glue like this, you can peel back this plastic and it will help in it laying flat. I've had ones that I couldn't get the creases out of it. So I actually got a big artist portfolio, stuck them in there and stuck them between the mattress and the box spring in my spare room to flatten them out. And it worked really great. So this one is really clear. It has a lot of really clear symbols in white and black, which I think is wonderful. It's all alphabet letters, so there's nothing nothing confusing to throw you off about um, what you're seeing here with the symbols. What would make this really super easy to do too, especially if um, 
you're having a little struggle with eyesight maybe, is put a light pad underneath one of these. It will shine through all these white letters and just make it so much easier to see. And once you start using a light pad, you there's no going back from that. Now, at the top here, we've got a picture of the picture. Picture of the picture. And then we've got the item number. In case you run out of drills, you can contact customer service, and they will send you some more drills. And it's 30 by 30. But I wanted to do a measurement because sometimes that is the measurement of the whole piece. I wanted to see what the actual picture size was. Now, Diamond Art, Art Gift is exclusively diamond painting. It's not one of those stores that does paint by number and cross stitch and diamond painting and other crafts. It is just diamond painting. So we've got about nine and three quarters by nine and three quarters essentially. So it's a nice little square. This would be really easy to frame afterwards too. Whether you just do the magnetic wooden frame, frame at the top and the bottom. I always cut my border off or you can use fingernail polish remover and it will take off all this ink so that you have white. You could go get some painter's canvases and totally trim it. Paint the canvas, um, the edges and the sides, a, a, a pretty color to contrast this. Even just black, I think, with this one would look nice. And then use a hot glue gun or some double-sided tape and just uh, place it on the, the painter's canvas. They're not expensive at all, especially if you go to a craft store. Amazon's got them for cheap, too. And then you can hang it on the wall, and it's a real easy way to um, frame these, because I know a lot of pe people have questions about that. There's so many options for framing, too. Just go to YouTube. There's just a ton of videos to help you out. Let's look and see what you get with this, because I'm babbling. I apologize. So you have your toolkit, which is your pen, your wax, and your tray. And then we've got the drills, so let's take a look at those two. Right off the bat, I can tell you I really love the fact that these are already individually bagged up for you. So you're already kitted up and ready to go. You just need to, well, help if I could open this, just need to pour them into a tray, and you're off and running. Let's look at these drills and see how good they are. For those of you who have never done diamond painting, look at the yellow ones. Number 10 is the number of the drill, or is that number one? That's number one, okay. And then over here, you would look number one. Any symbol that's a, a J is what where this will go, a DMC code number 307. So these are all color coordinated, which helps a lot too when you're looking for the right drills to use. And then we're going to put them anywhere we see a J, which is on, on those yellow spots. That's where these will all go. I'll pour these in a little tray and we'll look and see how their sparkle is, if they even have any sparkle. And then usually when I finish a diamond painting, I save these bags because you can always use them for a different diamond painting too. So these look like really ni nice drills. They have a really good sparkle to them. I don't know if you can cat if the camera's capturing that, probably not. There's not any junk. And yeah, they've got a nice, nice little shine to them when you move them in the light. So I think they'll look really, really pretty on here. So 22 colors. You've got some areas of confetti, but then you have some nice color uh, color blocking areas too where you can use a multi-placer if you want to. Don't be intimidated by them because it's just a matter of practice. So the more you do it, the easier it'll become. Just make sure that you put wax in your multi-placer or it's not going to work. I've done that before. So this time of painting was $4.99, which nowadays is not a bad price. And it's just a beautiful color snowflake. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Let's stick that over there. This one's a lot bigger. And again, it's another colorful one.
Diamond Art Gift also has thousands upon thousands of, of images to choose from. This, um, this canvas is super soft. Ford Glue, super soft canvas. I mean, it's one of the softest ones I've felt that, I mean, it's, it doesn't have the, the felt or the fabric backing on it, but it's very soft and pliable, which is great. Now, this one's a long one, and it's called Auspicious Clouds. So you've got, let me see if I can show you this picture a little bit better. It's got trees at the bottom, and then it's just got swirls of, of color as the clouds, and I think that's just so, so pretty. Now this is a 50 by 40 centimeter, and I'm going to get it for you in inches here, but I'm going to turn it sideways because it makes it a little bit easier to do. And it's kind of hard with these lights shining on it, so please forgive me for that. So the actual picture itself... is a little teeny bit, 19 inches, over 19 inches, by about 15 and a quarter inches wide. So it's a really good size. And I think with the colors and everything going on with this picture, it should turn out really well. Let's take a look at the symbols on here. Now, this has 45 colors. So the more colors, the more detail. And what's strange about this is the layout of the picture is portrait, but they printed the picture with the symbols in landscape. So if you want to look at the symbols right side up, you'll have to go landscape. You'll have to turn it sideways. So you won't be working top to bottom. You'll be working side to side on this. And while that be, may be a bit confusing until you're really good at diamond painting and you're really familiar with it, I wouldn't even try to do it um, like this because that could just get really confusing. See how the symbols are all sideways. Now, as far as symbols go, here's your product number also in case you need to get a hold of customer service. There's a big variety in symbols here. There are alphabet letters. There's all kinds of stuff, check marks, musical notes. Okay, come on. Focus in. And then we've got all the DMC codes over here. This column, which the other diamond painting didn't have, it tells you the quantity of how many drills they sent you. They always send you more than you need because drills dump. And drills drop and you just never know. So they always send you more than you need. This is really nice over here because I highly recommend when you get a diamond painting, you do an inventory as soon as you get it to see that they have included every single drill color that they say is in here because you just never know. I mean, things happen. It could have been packed up wrong and then you could notify customer service right away and let them know that you're missing uh, a color or let's say you have a bag of drills and like over here on the side it says that there's 3,668 drills in this package but then you find the package and there's obviously not that many drills in the package then you could just uh, get a hold of customer service right away and not have to sit around and wait to finish a painting because you're waiting for drills to arrive so let's look at these drills it is they are also you see they are should I say Already bagged up for you again, so that's really great. I wouldn't bother pouring these into little containers. I'd just leave them in the bag. It's really workable and easy to do. So that tells you that it's color number 32 on your legend. And the legend is on both sides. At the bottom on the left, on the at the top on the right. So 32 is N. I would take a pen and write N on here. And I would do that to every color in the bag. I would write the corresponding symbols on the bag. 
um, because you don't want to be referring over to your legend all the time if you don't have to. So if you come across whatever symbol you want to do on here, then you've got the symbol written down on here. Or just put another sticker on it with the symbol on it. So that's number 32, and that's in DMC code 915, which it tells you here. 529 is how many drills you need to complete the picture, but they have given you 597. So that will go wherever there's an N. I don't, okay, there's some N's over here, but I'm, I'm hoping that there's some more N's in here someplace. There's some up here. That's a beautiful color too. Look at the colors we get. I'm gonna dump these ones out because they're so pretty. This color, this picture is so full of color. The thing about, look how many blacks you get. 5,150 blacks, black 310. Now this is a square painting and you'll notice they've got, they have got lines written around the squares here in the light colors, but you're not gonna see them in the dark. That's fine. And being that this is a darker type of tone, um, and a deeper tone, I would definitely use a light pad with this. Make it easier to see. We've got greens and all kinds of blues here. Wow, how many different color blues do we have? Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. So many different colors of blue and purples. And I'm going to pick a lighter color. Let's see. Let's just go with pink. And we're going to check out and see what they look like. Now, I prefer squares over rounds. I think the picture looks better. If you're doing squares and you find there's a little bit of a gap between the squares, don't let that freak you out because in time, the glue is going to shrink and bring those squares closer together. Okay, let's look at these squares. Now, these tray, this tray that I'm using is a Bella Art Nicole tray. Yeah, I really love their trays because they have the spout. It comes with a cover that you can slide on the top that keeps them in in case it falls over. But yeah, see, notice the sparkle on these. This is a really pretty color. It's got really nice sparkle. And let's look at what we get for a toolkit. Oh, that one's coming out the bottom. Now the other kit for the rounds was just a tray wax and a pen, but you get a little more with this. So you've got a multi-placer right there. That looks like probably a four or five. Sometimes it's it's in, it's embossed on there, but not this time. A little finger scrunchie, which the other kit didn't have. You've got a really big multi-placer here. That's probably a nine or so, I'd say. Yeah, it doesn't say. Because you can change the ends of these out. You've got a pair of little tweezers. I prefer to use tweezers with my squares, and that is also a practice thing. Um, but don't be, you know, don't be surprised if you go to pick up a drill and ping, it shoots across the room. I have actually found one on my dog's nose one time. You get them all over the place. I just think that they're easier to place when they're a square. With a round, you can just place a drill in any direction. doesn't matter. It's round. But with a square, you have to, you know, have it in a certain position. You can't place it even slightly off in, in any direction. It has to be straight. And squares just make it easier for me to do. I don't like these tweezers at all. There are um, other kits that come with tweezers, and I save them. The ones I really like are the really super pointy black metal tweezers that you might get with a Huacon from AliExpress diamond painting, a square diamond painting. Their tweezers are great. I've actually gotten um, tweezers from other diamond painting companies. You can buy a set or even Amazon. I got a set from them too. You get four pads of wax and a tray with a spout. I love trays with spouts. Just don't tip them. 
I suppose you could tear off a hunk of wax and stick it in here because it doesn't come with a stopper and that would um, keep them from falling over if you tip it out. So this is a nice toolkit. I just wish they would um, up their game on those tweezers because those I think are pretty useless. But that's just me. You might use them and think they're absolutely great. This actually looks like a Huacan diamond painting, honestly, with, I've done many, and that's, you can get them on Amazon and AliExpress. Um, just the way it's printed and all the symbols that they use with these, this, this extra fourth column, yeah, it looks a lot like a Huacan diamond painting. And hey, yeah, I have no, no problem with that. I've not had an issue with that brand at all. I kind of find it interesting if it is that Diamond Art Gift sells those, but hey, they're a supplier and a manufacturer, Huacan is, so I wouldn't be surprised. I think this is gonna be just a stunning picture when it's done. It's really, really pretty. If you would like me to do a um, whip and chat on it with a diamond painting, please let me know below. And if you'd like it to be a square or a round, because I, I need to start getting into whip and chats and stitch with me's every week on this channel. Um, but I'd like to know if there's any interest. So yeah, this is just a really pretty kit. Just put these in order, like I said, either write the symbol or the put a sticker on there. And it just makes it a lot easy a lot easier to grab. What I'll do is I'll take these and put them in order, numerical order, and you know those little Hillshire Farm uh, lunch meat containers that are keepable? I just stack them up in there or something similar to that. And then I just keep it next to me and then I just pull my colors out and then I put them, you know, as I go, put them back in order again. And it just makes it real easy to find instead of having to dig through a pile like this saying, where are they? So check out Diamond Art Gift. I'll have a link below to both of these diamond paintings and um, their website. They have really, really good prices. This one was $9.99. It is a bigger diamond painting though, and that's, you know, that's gonna happen. Bigger diamond paintings are gonna be expensive. And the price of diamond paintings are, is going up at every website. So I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you have any questions about diamond painting, I'd be more than happy to answer them or, or help you out with it. Please uh, comment below or send me an email, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll be talking to you again soon. Bye.